Once again, it's a new week, so let's look at a new story. We've spent quite a bit of time on the story of the prodigal son. The next story in Luke's gospel is the story of the shrewd manager. And it goes like this. There was a rich man whose manager was accused of wasting his possessions. I'm just reading from Luke chapter, chapter 16 here. And, and he called him in and said, look, I'm getting bad reports about you. You're fired. And the manager thinks, now what am I going to do? I've had this cushy job. Well, I'm not physically fit. I'm not able to go out and, and, and dig and, and work in the field. What am I going to do? He says, but I have an idea. And so he called in those who owed his master money. And uh, we pick it up, Luke chapter 16, verse 5. He called in each one of his master's debtors and asked the first one, how much do you owe my master? And he said, I owe him 800 gallons of olive oil. He said, write me a check for 400 gallons and we'll call it even. He calls in another one. He says, what do you owe him? He said, a, a thousand bushels of wheat. He says, write me a check for 800 bushels of wheat and we'll call it even. So what happened? Was he taking advantage of his master or was his master testing him? What he actually did was make sure that he extended grace to others. He would certainly win their favor. They would look favorably upon him and, and maybe he would uh, provide a place for him uh, for himself down the road. The master didn't seem to be upset by this. In fact, he said, you're a pretty smart guy because you have taken what I have given to you and you've used it to make others' lives easier. I think that there's a lesson here that ties into the story that we just spent so much time on. The, the forgiveness that the father was trying to get the older brother to extend to uh, his brother. And we're, we're finding that what God is wanting from us is for us to treat others as he has treated us. And so the, the manager was rewarded for his shrewdness his business savvy, perhaps, but for taking what the master was able to give and sharing that with others. God has given us such an abundance. We have abused it. We have sinned. But if we will give grace and mercy, and love, and compassion to others who owe great debts, then we will have done it unto him, even as we've done it to one of the least of these, our brothers. I think there's a tie in here. I think the lesson is, let's be merciful. Let's be gracious. Let's let other people have a blessing that they don't even expect and don't even deserve because we have received a blessing that we shouldn't expect and we certainly don't deserve. I love this story and I think it's not unrelated. I don't know in what sequence Jesus told these stories, if it was just one after the other, we'll have to ask him. But there's a relationship here. Be compassionate, be forgiving, be loving, and as a result, be blessed. So, God bless.